acclaimed music video director Anita James Ekiko, who operates under the moniker AJ Films, has described the brazen objectification of females in some music videos as unfortunate. In a brief conversation with Entertainment News on China's television, the award-winning director explains the difference between art and blatant objectification and how sometimes artists' demands lead to misinterpretations. Take a look. I don't know why that Debo. Debo. All right. Hold camera. Roll. We're set. We're set. You ready? Guys, are you ready? Yeah. And then focus. Remember to find them. Okay? Those guys are running towards the mic with the mic. Come on, Jolie. Gotcha. Let's hear what he has to say. Um, usually songs now are, are less than three minutes or a little over three minutes. How much stories can you tell in, in short a short time? I mean, that is why being um, video directors are incredibly talented in Africa because right now we control the culture, we control the narrative and we also like, we are the ones that sell the, we are the custodian of that message. So I have three minutes to impress you and get you to the storyline because it's more like a montage. So you get the gesture, the conversation and with this one, I'm actually trying to make it like a film where I stop, I stop the music at some point and have an interlude and then I take you back to the music. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do to be able to infuse everything. It might be four minutes in the video, so let's see how it goes. Speaking about how you control the culture, there's always been this conversation going on yeah. um, about objectification of women, sometimes in music videos yeah. and all of that. Yeah. You as a director yourself, how do you draw the line from doing, um, representing the pop culture, um, uh, portraying the beauty of women yeah. and also not objectifying them? Yeah, I'm also, I'm, I'm, I'm very much in the concept of um, being moderate. I mean, there has to be a balance to everything, right? I mean, you could see nude art as art, but there's a, there's a way you present it, it looks like an exploitation or try to objectify or sexualize that. I think I'm of the concept of trying to be moderate with everything I do with the visual. I also know that some of my content is being watched by the young audience, but then it also depends on demands of your client. If your client wants me to kind of get extreme with art, because I call it art, and I mean, at some point, you know, some of these videos are played at safe hours where you don't have, or there's, there's a, a measure of control. Because I feel like art doesn't have to be restrictive or I don't want to kind of classify it in that term because it might be dangerous for my own self and artists. But I'm, 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 I'm very much in, in the understanding of being moderate and representing our culture and art with all form of modesty and just still be creative and entertainment with it, so. Again, um, music videos are like the chief um, ingredients um, in, in pushing a song, especially the ones with music video and all of that. And you guys did do all of that. I'm here, I see a lot of work that you do on, on this kind of work and, and all of that. Aside from um, revenue received from uh, from the artist, are you entitled or do you feel you should be entitled to um, revenues from the um, streaming. streaming in itself, like over time, even if it's um, shared? Well, and how do you manage this with your clients? So basically, I've, I have a few clientele that I have revenue sharing with over the past few years. It's a, it's a standard. It's a, although I, I, I notice it's a new concept to our entertainment industry, but I think it's normal. It should be something normal where uh, the director, it depends on what she you bring into the table in terms of producing the content but there, there are variables to this concept if the client hires you pay you for the concept they can outrightly still take it from you if I come and hire you and I pay you to write me a content I might as well sign waiver with you and they own the concept outright if you feel like you don't want to be paid you want to share equity on the streams you can offer that option so it depends on what the creative decide 
to go for. If you want to be paid for the project, if I'm paying you, obviously I take the right of you because it's my content, right? It, I bought it from you, right? You don't have rights for any equity. But if you want to have equity, I'm sure there are processes that you go about. Is either you do it for a lesser amount or you contribute to the production technicalities and then you own equity on streaming. So it's a very open concept. Absolutely. Do you receive pushback from the artists when you mention it? Yeah, I have. I have. I've been in that process for a bit. 